We begin today with an increase in human smuggling attempts off the coast of San Diego. And two people were hurt after crashing a jet ski into rocks near Cabrillo National Monument. And that's not the only incident authorities responded to overnight. Our Jason Sloss starts us off live from Point Loma with what we're learning. Jason. Yeah, one incident, an example of just how dangerous human smuggling is on the water. This is the Border Patrol says maritime smuggling events are at an all time high. Two migrants attempting to illegally enter the U.S. were seriously hurt Monday morning when they crashed a jet ski into the rocks near Cabrillo National Monument in Point Loma. Border authorities spotted the two men on the jet ski around 1 a.m. After reaching shore, they were detained and taken to the hospital. Less than an hour earlier, about a mile off the coast of Point Loma, border authorities intercepted a Ponga boat with 23 Mexican nationals on board, taking into custody five females, 17 males, and a juvenile. We've seen a dramatic increase. Border Patrol agent Takia Michael says this fiscal year, maritime smuggling events have jumped up by more than 100% compared to all of last year. For fiscal year to date, 22, we've already seen uh, 270 events maritime. Um, and then we've seen over about 1,300 apprehensions within those 270 events, and that's just specific to maritime. Agent Michael says smugglers will put migrants on any kind of vessel that's convenient. Last week, a group of migrants landed in Imperial Beach using jet skis and a boogie board. Last May, three people were killed and dozens more were rescued after a smuggling boat broke apart and overturned off the coast of Point Loma. Agent Michael says smugglers often don't bother explaining the dangers to the people they they're trying to smuggle into the U.S. They're usually traveling at, at nighttime without any lights to be able to guide um, safely. Um, they're loading, uh, overloading people into these pongas. They're having people being smuggled in jet skis that may not know how to ride a jet ski, and um, or they're just being um, dropped off and told to swim to shore, and some may not be able to swim. She says agents are stretched pretty thin in the San Diego sector as they're capturing about 450 people a day trying to illegally get into the U.S. by sea and on land. Live in Point Loma, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you for that report. Now